Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will see how binary search works. So binary search works on the fact that the array is sorted. Let's see if the array is 1, 3, 4, 6, 9, 13 and 16 and we have to search the element 13. We have to search this element. We know the array index starts from 0 and goes to n minus 1. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, this will be 4, 4, it's 5 and this 6. And we have to search the element 30 and our, our output will be something like, will be, some, will be the index of that element. So our answer will be 5, output will should be 5. So we will have to implement binary search. So we have three variables, one is low. Next is high. Low represents the value, and in the starting, low will be equal to zero, and our high equal to six. And one more value variable mid. Mid will be equal to the half of the low and high. Actually, we are dividing the array into two equal halves with respect to the mid. So mid equals to low plus high. By two, so mid will be three. Then after then there will be three cases can be like we have divided the array with respect to the mid, so our mid will mid is here at index three. Our low is here low mid is here and high is here then after that we know that there can be three cases like uh, our element may be present on the index mid or maybe after mid or maybe before mid so first case will be First case, what will be the first case? How our element is present at the index mid. Second case, our element our our element present on the right array, right sub array. So something like this. So here will be x. And the third case element is present in the left array. So here are the cases in the binary search. If we found our element at the index mid, so we will simply return x. What we will do? We will return x. So there will be no more partitions and simply our binary search function will return x. So if the element is not present on the mid, there may be uh, on the left side or maybe on the right side. So if in the right side, then second case will be rise and we will simply ignore our left array. We will ignore our left array. So our the low low equals to mid plus 1. Our new low will become mid plus 1. Then this our low, our low will come out here. 
here and uh, we have high here and our new mid will be calculated again and again until our low is less than right so again mid will be calculated and mid will come out here so let's see how it will how this will work in our program The loop will run until our low is less than high or equal to high. So we will have to initialize mid with low plus high by two. And if our if our element is present on the mid, then it will simply return the index. Its index. It will return mid. So, if checking for the second case, if uh, our element is present in the right array, so it means our array mid is smaller than the element. Then it will return. It will not return if the new value of low will be mid plus one and for the last case our high will be mid minus one so so this is our code and if the element our element not found then it will simply return minus one so let's move to our code. So let's code our binary first. In main, uh, we have our array as one, three, four. Six, nine, thirteen, and sixteen, and we have to search for element thirteen. We have to compute the file first for so int n equals to size of ARR divided by size of ARR zero. Let's initialize it one more variable index in which we will store our result. So it will call our binary search. It will call our binary search. Zero and n. These are the arguments, and then low represents zero and high represents n minus one. And are the element we have to search for in the last x. So let's move, let's write binary search function. Int low high int element and element a and the array array in. Uh, int a r r so while 
low less than equals to high our loop will run until our low is less than or equals to i so our first condition was if our element present uh, on the position mid it will simply return the mid what we will, what it will do it will return mid our second condition was if the array if the if our element is not present in the left array less than x it means then then the binary search will search in the right half so low new low will become mid plus one and as part else our element will present in the left so part so our high will be mid minus one if the loops fails loop fails and uh, the we control have come out come out of the loop it will simply return minus one minus one so let's see we have to in output the index see out index let's save it first by the search so our um, expected output should be 5 let's run the oh the mid was not declared so it will be made int mid equals to low plus high by 2 so it should run fine again so let's x was not declared oh i have used x instead of e let's it then running again oh test test have passed running in so here it is our answer is 5 like here, in here we have 5 so thank you for watching our video like the video if you gain some knowledge comment your doubts and also subscribe to the channel thank you